Uh, so first game, just talk about uh, preseason MVP. Uh, does that change your mentality at all entering here your junior year? No, not at all. It's, I mean, it's a great honor. I'm super thankful that uh, me and coaches chose to win that award, but it's just preseason honor, right? So, I mean, the goal is to go out there and <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, win it in the uh, win it in the normal season, like when it all matters. So really excited to go out there and uh, hopefully prove prove some people right. Any, uh, any, I mean, a lot of things are different right now at Eastern Washington. So any big adjustments you've had to make, just personally, mentally, uh, Baldwin and everybody gone? I mean, yeah, there's been adjustments. I wouldn't call them big, though. Uh, I mean, the coach has done a great job of making a really smooth transition for us. So uh, we're finding some great new coaches and really excited to get going with them and keep learning from those guys. Being that you kind of are now a veteran who knows how things are done there and know how the, oper the offense is operated, uh, have, you, have you tried to embrace that role? as far as uh, being a leader and teaching guys and bringing them along? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Get in there and make sure I'm getting the young guys in the film room a lot and uh, getting on the same page as them. And, yeah, just being more of a leader has been one of my main goals this uh, year. I mean, you lost a great leader in Cooper Cup and you know, like guys like Samson and Zach Bruce on the defense who uh, did a great job of leading our team. And now it's, I think it's our kind of torch has been passed down to me and a couple other guys on the team where we have to go out there and uh, lead the way and show the guys how it's done and people are going to follow so that's been a main goal of me or of mine uh, this offseason. I'm sure you're going to get asked many times well, how do you replace Cooper Cup, Kendrick Bourne, Shaq Hill? Yeah. Probably hard to replace them but Easter's done it before you guys have had such great receivers for 15 plus years so yeah. uh, what, what, what sort of young guys did you see stand out during spring? Uh, I mean guys like Simba Webster had a great spring. Uh, Nick Splendorio who is not a young guy he's a veteran and had a lot of success here at Easter he's going to be a great player for us. Uh, Terrence Grady had a great spring. Uh, Jason Williams had did really well. Uh, Tololo uh, Jones, he had a great, uh, t uh, great spring too. Uh, being a tight end, um, just a bunch of those guys are uh, been dedicated, been trying to learn more, and been watching film and throwing rounds with me and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's been a lot of fun to see him uh, improve. And, and we got a lot of guys just off the top of the head, and guys like Zach Eagle and Jason Williams too. That had a great spring and had. He's been working really hard this offseason, so uh, I don't think the right word would be to replace because I don't know if you ever replaced guys like what we had, but we kind of like to say reload. We're going to have some dudes still, uh, and then go out there and surprise some people, I'm sure. Um, I know coming into last year, everybody wondered what's the offensive line going to be like for so many young guys. Uh, that seemed to not be a question. It seemed like those guys performed well all year, so well, what is that a testament to? How were they able to do that? Uh, I mean, they got a great coach, a coach yeah, Bess, which is now all of our coaches, which he was all our coaches in the first place. But. Uh, yeah, they just, I mean, they come out there with the right attitude and uh, learning the offense and stuff like that. And, I mean, just a lot of talent. There's a lot of talented young guys. To, it's kind of scary thought to think that now they got some experience under their belt, same guys. So it'll be fun to see what they do this year. I know that uh, you, it, last year it seemed like, especially towards the end of the year, during the playoff run, you guys had that, that hit back to kind of a, a team that seemed like destined for great things. To have it end in the, the heartbreaking fashion that it did in the semifinals in Chile, how's that influence your mentality coming into this year? Just never satisfied. Um, you know, our whole goal was to go out there and win a Big Sky title and then ultimately win the national title. And uh, to be that close, uh, get a little taste of it and not quite get there, just motivates you more. Uh, makes you work harder in the offseason to make sure I don't want to ever feel the way I did after that semifinal game. I want to go out there and I want to feel the feeling of winning that game and then going and winning a national title and be all that. So, uh, if anything, it just motivates you more to work harder to get to that point. Losing a, such a, a pillar of the big sky like Coach Baldwin, uh, that's obviously going to make just the broader view of you guys uh, just surrounded with question marks is that, is that a motivating factor? Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, to us, it doesn't really matter what people think on the outside. I mean, people are going to, media is, and everyone's going to talk and say, well, what's it going to look like when they lose three NFL receivers? What are they going to look like when they lose one of the best head coaches uh, in the big sky? And it's like, we're just going to go out there and work and perform. And one thing, one thing that helps us is we're player driven. So, yes, we lose a great coach and Coach Baldwin, but we didn't lose the players that we had when he left. I mean, all the guys are still there. 
I'm uh, still willing to work and still willing to learn from the new guys that we have coming in. Uh, and we also got some great new coaches that came in, so really excited. Uh, the, the program itself is just, I, I've been coming to the league now for 12 years. It's, it has so, so much confidence among mm -hmm. the players. Where does that come from? How do you guys cultivate that? Uh, I mean, success. I mean, when you, have, when you keep having success, you're gonna, generally you're going to come in and just have that mentality like, you know, we're Eastern Washington. We got to go in there and be successful because that's what we've done. We, we don't go out there and have any year than a couple years ago where we went six and five. It was just not acceptable. And uh, the coaches made it known and the players knew it too. It was like, this is not what we do here. So uh, we go out there and um, just play with that confidence and swagger that we like to have and uh, let the game take care of itself. Baldwin was so good at uh, keeping your quarterbacks motivated, keeping your competition going at all times. Yeah. Now that you are kind of the guy, the trench guy, how do you stay? How do you stay hungry? I like. To, I always think of it as competition. Uh, competition brings out the best in people. So I go out there and thinking. I mean, and it's. Not thinking it is what it is. The guys behind me are trying to take my spot. No one wants to come into college football and be a backup quarterback. So uh, Eric Berry is going to be pushing me the whole time, and I love it. It's good. That's what's going to bring out the best in me. So uh, I mean, that's what I kind of look at it as like, yes, I'm the starting quarterback at this moment, but the job's never safe. No one's entitled to anything, no matter how good you were the year before. So uh, just keep, keep working like you keep working like you got to prove something still. Last thing for you, then, uh, do you feel like you guys still have something left? Me, what are your expectations for East Washington this fall? Uh, expectations win a national title and win a Big Sky title. Uh, and nothing less than that. If we don't do that, then it's in our eyes going to be we fell short of what we wanted to do for sure. So um, that's that's always going to be the expectation for us from here on out. And we got to make sure that we put in the work till, so we're always giving ourselves the best chance to do that. Uh, appreciate it, man.